Hello everybody! I'm Batman. Actually, I'm Sammy from Cheatware.net and today I'd like to show you an app that I love very much. It's called Freedom APK. And it kind of looks like a statue. And I know a lot of you culture nerds will be able to tell me what kind of statue it is. I have no idea. I love this app. Essentially, this emulates purchases through the Google Play Store and allows you to get free stuff in a lot of single player games on Android and without requiring necessarily a root, which is actually pretty freaking awesome. As always, you can get this by simply Googling cheatware, going to our website, you know, tapping the the Freedom APK button right here at the bottom and just downloading the thing, installed on your on your device, and you're basically ready to go. Except for one thing that you absolutely have to do. Okay. Do it. Yes, exactly. It's important because essentially what happened is um a lot of people just got free stuff through Freedom APK and Google was like ah we get a cut of that money that people spend in games so we don't want that so they updated their Google Play Store to actually not allow for this to happen so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go into your apps and you're gonna wanna uninstall all the Google Play Store updates that you have installed but first this is very important you need to go into your Freedom ABK options under settings and disable Play Store updates. So once you actually uninstall the updates, they don't get automatically reinstalled. That is very important if you want this to actually work. Okay? Noise. Okay, let's go. All right, so as you can see, disable Play Store updates is enabled. And we're canceling out of it right now. And we're going to our settings, our apps. We're going to the Play Store, Google Play Store, and we uninstall all the updates to Google Play Store. Now, the version for me that it will be up uh, at at factory level is 6.8, which works perfectly for what I'm doing. Okay. If yours is further on, you might have to root your device and install an old version of Google Play Store. 6.8 works perfectly. 9 works as well. I've done it with both these versions. All right, so essentially after that, you just open up your Freedom ABK and you click whatever game you'd like to have free purchases in. So in my case, I'm going to do Tower Defense and Vision, and it's going to take a little bit of time, maybe. Turn down for what? I can now simply start the game and go into the store. Here's the store. We're going to the store. We're going to buy some gems for real money, or will we get have to spend real money? We'll see. And as you can see, now we have a free card, which will be just called free card and then some numbers. And you can just put put that in there and whatever. There you go. Payment successful. My gems should be going up once this reloads. Turn down for what? And as you can see, my gems have gone from something like a thousand to twelve thousand. And I can now spend them on whatever I'd like to spend them on. As you can see, it works absolutely perfectly. And that is essentially Freedom APK. It's actually pretty pretty. Nice. And I recommend that you download it right now. Do it! At cheatware.net. And yeah. That's essentially it. Now, an important thing to notice is that this won't work on like your online games, your Clash of Clans and Clash Royale and Clash of the Titans and Clash of whatever kind of apps that people are playing these days because online games essentially process your gems and stuff on an online server, which is a computer in someone's basement, usually the developer of the game which cannot actually be influenced or exploited at this point. This works on single player games that only store your data on your phone, all right? Which is actually a huge percentage of games out there. So the best test on how to figure out whether it works or not is just disconnect your internet, you know, put your your, your game uh, your your phone into plane mode or your your emulator or whatever and try running the game then if the game runs then you should be good to go and one of these apps will actually work. A good alternative to Freedom APK is Crehack, which is also actually yes. pretty and it is essentially a good alternative. It's not quite covering the same amount of games that Freedom APK does, but it is much more simple to use. Just turn it on, you go into the game, you buy stuff. 
and that's basically that. You can find both these apps on Cheatware.net, just Google Cheatware, you'll be able to find all these apps and can just download them, get them onto your phone, and get free stuff anytime you like. Now, Freedom ABK, just to get into some advanced functionality as well, it has um, some advanced options that you can enable if your device is actually rooted, which is called FreeCore. That will enable you to get free purchases in e even more games, but you will have to have a rooted phone for that. And once you install it, I recommend when you, if you don't use it anymore, uninstall it again, all right? That is very important. All right, I'll do a video on whether a root is necessary for this. Spoilers. For most functions that this app has, a root is not required, but I'll do a video on that later. You should have that after this video in the recommended or whatever in the sidebar. Uh, you'll be able to find it. Anyways, thanks you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.